this latest development, this protest where we just saw a few days ago signs of the Indian government uh, restoring mobile phone services somewhat. And then we see this extreme clampdown on a group of peaceful protesters of women. Yeah, I mean, this is the irony that the women who were yesterday protesting against this abrogation of Article 370 and the degradation of this uh, state into two union territories. And most of these women, they belong to the pro-mainstream group, which until 5th of August were all, uh, I mean, very close to Indian side, Indian government. And, uh, I mean, the sister and daughter of Farooq Abdullah. Farooq Abdullah has been the three-time chief minister of state of Jammu and Kashmir. And these women, they've been holding a high post in Indian government, in Indian establishments. And then they are coming out in open and protesting and a pro peaceful protest. Then the uh, mishandling and the high-handedness of the government of India yesterday, putting them into jail and then asking them, to give a bond that uh, if you are released, you are not going to do any other protests regarding Article 370. Mm -hmm. I mean, this seems a totally, um, uh, I mean, uh, what sort of uh, 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 the steps government of India is taking at the moment to coil these uh, peaceful protests. But I don't think these protests will stop because the people, they are still in anger. They want to give dissent against this decision. And uh, um, uh, no matter uh, how many, I mean, uh, security personnel are there, people mm -hmm. are coming out and people, I think, will come out to, I mean, uh, uh, give their um, uh, strong resentment right. about now, these decisions. 